Hi Ed and a lady here again. Right, so what we're going to have tonight is a butter chicken curry. This is our version of it. So the ingredients that we have is we like chicken thighs. You can use chicken breasts if that's what you'd prefer. But we prefer the chicken thighs. We have um, 120 grams of fresh tomatoes. We have some garlic and some ginger paste. Uh, two shallots. Tin of coconut milk. And we have some garam masala, some crushed chilies, and we have some Kashmiri chilli. But you can just use ordinary chilli powder, it doesn't have to be Kashmiri. Um, we, we're not, not having rice or anything with it, so what we're going to do is we're going to do some flatbreads. So this is basically just some plain flour uh, mixed with Greek yoghurt, that's the thick stuff. And because we have them in the cupboards, we're going to put a bit of flat mustard seeds, um, and black onion seeds in with that, but most of the time we'll just have it as plain flatbreads. So what I'll do is I'll bring you back once I'm, I'm all prepped. Right, so what I've done is, is I've taken all the skin off the chicken. We do like to keep it whole like this and on the bone because you do get more flavour in the, in the curry. But I will not um, keep a hold of the chicken skin. We do put that with some salt on some pepper and then the ninja and do it all crisp up just for a little bit of a snack because you don't want to waste. Um, you can buy boneless and skinless chicken thighs, however they are probably another £1.50 more on top of that, but if that's what you prefer, or um, chicken breast. What I'm going to do here is, is I'm just going to brown this chicken off, just a little bit of spray oil. Right. Just going to pop that into there. Oh. Right, so we'll just leave them. It only takes about 5-10 minutes to brown them off properly and I'll bring you back once it's done. Right, so we've browned off all the chicken. Now I've already weighed it out but we're using ghee today. But you can actually use butter if you like or just any sort of oil. But we've got the ghee so we might as well use it. So 60 just, grams, yeah? 60 grams, yeah. So I'm just going to pop that in there to melt. Still some residual heat in there so that should melt pretty quickly. Let's turn it up a little bit. Right. What we'll do is, is I'll add the shallots while that's melting and get these all nicely browned off. Once that's done, we can crack on with the rest of it. Right, so they're half browned, but in this time we'll put in the tomatoes and I really want them to cook and break down. So we'll bring out all of our juices. It takes normally about five minutes to do this to get rid of this part. But it's just gonna have to let me get on with it. Should we put the lid on or? No, don't need the lid on for this bit. You can see they're starting to soften already. So another few minutes and then it should be done. Right, so now that them have softened down a little bit, you can see this now. They're all nice and funky. You can actually have a look at that. I'm going to put in some of the pureed garlic. Oh, it's a new one. I'm going to put a teaspoon. Of garlic. And a teaspoon of ginger. Straight in there. And then what we have is we have two teaspoons of garam masala going in. We have a 
teaspoon of Kashmiri chilli gone in. And a teaspoon of chilli flakes. Lovely. Right, so we'll just mix all of that through. Just brighten up them spices a bit with a ghee in the heat. Now it's starting to smell like curry. Mm. It's just a couple of minutes for this. You don't want to burn them because if you burn the spices then they will go bitter and it'll not be nice. So that's about right on there. And now we add our tin of coconut milk. Straight in there. This is a bit of Coconut milk for you, isn't it? Magic Every time. The changing the colour it starts to look like Scrape it all down. Right, once that gets all amalgamized, get it all out. Once it comes back up to the boil, all we do is put the chicken in, put the lid on, and cook it for about 30 minutes. Obviously. You can test it with a knife to make sure that the chicken is hot all the way through or you can use a probe if you've got one, this is what we're going to do just to make sure that it's all properly cooked for you. That will go darker the more colour goes onto it. Right, so that's about there. watering already. <laughs> right, now all of the juices off the plate. So that's all going to cook into there. So right, so what I'm just going to do is turn them over. Not like that. Now we'll pop the lid on, just going to get the lid and we'll give you one moment. It's a nice cast iron pot this. It is very heavy but it's it absolutely fantastic for doing stuff like this. So what I'll do is I'll turn the front one off, put the smaller back one on. Oh, that's a bit hot. And we'll just pop that to the back and leave that like I say for about 30 minutes. I'm just going to have a quick Wipe down and then we'll get on with the flatbreads. Right, so now onto the flatbreads. I've got 200 grams of just plain flour in this bowl. I decided not to use the mustard seeds because I think they might be a bit too big. So I've just done two teaspoons of the, the black onion seeds. I'll just mix them all around. Like I see, you don't have to put anything in here. Bit of you could put a bit of garlic granules in there if you wanted to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a little bit of salt and use some white pepper so you haven't got the bits of that thinking that it's the black mustard seeds. I'll leave them out because I'll need that some of that for the curry later on. Right, and then we just add enough, oh, enough yogurt to um, make that into a dough. Need to flour the surface anyway, so I'll just use that. Oh. Just quite literally need some more. Don't know the exact amounts of this because all flowers are different. Sometimes flowers can absorb a lot quicker, a lot less, or a lot more. Really, just depends on what. So basically just keep adding until it forms a dough. Yep. So it's not too wet, but so you can use it. I'll do so I might get my hands in actually, because it's how's that feeling? Feeling a little bit wet at the minute, but the more there's still plenty flour in here to 
Here we go. It's starting to come together now, look. Need a tad more just for them bits underneath there, look. Because even though you don't want it sloppy, you do want it as a door, but you don't want it to be too hard either, otherwise it's just not going to be pleasant, it's going to be dry. Like I say, it's just the matter of just adding. Now I'll probably get four flatbreads out of this, so they're about 50 grams each. Yeah, that's coming together now. Yeah, get the bits, the right bits off my hands. Right, so just keep going till it's all incorporated. That's probably about right. Right, so that's all out of the bowl layer now. I'm just going to give it a quick knead on here just so it gets it smooth. And then that's it. Get a little bit of flour on here. Feel that's a nice soft door if you just touch it like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know, it tastes good. <laughs> and that's all I'm bothered about. What I'll do is I'll cut it into four. Put them to one side. Okay. And then it's just the matter of pulling it back round again. Like that. A bit more flour. And then we'll roll it out. It's a lovely door this because I've done this with um yeasted door. And it just seems to spring back all the time every time you do it. So into a rough round, don't worry, because we're not bothered. You just rip it apart anyway to put it. Not looking for perfection shape wise or like right. I say, it's all about the taste for me, like. There you go. Now that one is ready for the pan. Do we need any oil in the pan? No, dry pan. Dry pan? Yeah. Which we've had heating for about five minutes, you see. So if you want to do that, I'll... Yeah. Continue with that. Yeah. Do another one. So when that one's ready to come out, we've got another one fresh to, to go in. Yep. Yeah. Turn it up a little bit. So it will come back and show you when it's a bit closer. To being done. Right, so I'm just going to flip this one and see what it's like. And just give it two or three minutes. Like it's just slightly golden on top. Again, you can do that to your taste if you want it darker, like we probably do. We just uh, just keep turning it over until it's to your liking, basically. Right, so we've turned it over a bit, so you've got the brown on both sides now. Sorry about that. So that one's done. I'm just going to pop that over there to cool and I've walled out the other ones and just pop another one in. These ones, the consecutive ones always seem to be quicker because the pan is really nicely hot. So and you just keep doing that. So just repeat the process until Until all done. four are done. Then what I'll do is I'll have a bit of a clean up. Yes. And just to let you know what, I'll just show you this. So a quick look. Have a quick curry. look at the curry, yeah. We'll have a quick look at that. Oh, that's bubbling away. Lovely. Bubbling away nicely. Lid on. Perfect. Alright, we'll back in uh, a few minutes, guys. This one's starting to puff up, as you can see. Yeah, that's because the air between. Woohoo! Lovely. Look how gloves that looks. Right, that's all four flatbreads done. I have had a bit of a tidy down, um, but they're just ready 
for whenever the chicken's cooked. Look at the chair on them. Yeah, the first one's never the best, but these ones you can you can actually hear how nice and crispy they are and soft at the same time. So you could still actually do it as maybe a taco or something like that if you've got some fajita mix. Just a simple, so you can still simple do flatbread recipe. Yeah. yeah. And there you go. Obviously, they've got to be eaten within. They've got to be eaten tonight. Yeah. Yeah. They haven't got. They don't stay. No, they've got no preservatives they're or anything a bit hard like if that. You leave them, don't yeah. They? But so, they are lovely and delicious. So. And literally, just a bowl of that curry, couple of those, rip them off, and just. And if you want to have rice, you can have it with rice. Whatever. Yeah. Just, whatever just buy naan breads. Don't do this if you want to. But it's three ingredients, and it just it just works. So we'll just have a little check on the curry? Yeah, have you got the spoon then? I'll give it a bit of a so stir. It. Oh, look at that. Mm. Oh, wish you had smell of vision guys, because that, oh, that's coming down. That's lovely. I think at the end, we'd take the lid off and leave it for... About 10 minutes. 10 minutes just to reduce a little bit. I think the only thing I'm um, upset about is because the fact that I haven't got any coriander to go on there because no. I think a bit of coriander in there would just make it not look as beige but you know I just think that is it's a lovely curry we've had this many times right so we will um, we come will back to you soon. once it's done Boom. right this has had about 35 minutes because it wasn't quite up the temperature so I'm just gonna put that there just make sure it's over 75 if it's over 75 then it's well cooked yeah there we go So now I just need that there. Do you want three bits? No, oh, yes, please. Oh, bloody hell. You can clean that up. <laughs> yeah. off lovely there we go we have the flatbreads from earlier Piece. And more if we need some more. Oh, yeah. I think a fork and a spoon would be good for this. Yeah, definitely. Rather than a knife because that chicken is going to come straight off the bone anyway. Yeah. There we go. So we'll see you back when you're just about to have a taste. Right, Ian's having a little bit of a chomp now here we go let's dig in mm. Mm. can we have some of the flatbreads with it that's really good let's rip it open and put some curry in there Some of that in the sauce. Lovely and fluffy and cool. Mm. That is such a nice curry. Because you love mm. the, the I do love a coconut curry. Coconut yeah. cream curry eggs. Mm. Banging. Spot on. 
Right, I'm gonna have a bit of the chicken and the curry in the flatbreads. Dip it. That's really good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Sorry if I talk with my mouth full. But, mmm, yep. Mmm, lovely. Mm. Right. See you next time, guys. Mmm.